Hello everyone, welcome to another Swift tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over the switch statement. So let's take a look at what we have right here. We have this function that has if and else if a ton in it, and it gets a little redundant. Um, I can just constantly checking else if. So there's a cleaner way to do this. Um, and of course it's recommended um, when you have a ton of uh, cases like this. So we can just, we're going to create a new function that implements our switch statement. So we're going to check index, we're going to check index, and we'll just call it switch. Because it's essentially doing the same thing, index, int. All right. So instead of writing if, we're going to write switch. All right. And then it gives us this, oh, gives us this right here. We can hit enter and boom. We already have uh, essentially everything we need to start our switch statement. So our value in this case is going to be index. All right. So that's, this is what it's all running off of. So it's going to be checking or it's going to be switching through each case for um, this value. So in this case, um, our value is index. So in the first case, we can say, um, well, the first case is zero. So if we're going to be checking for zero, and then we can print same thing here. Hey, it's zero. All right. And then we can take this over here and put it in our default. So the default is essentially after all the cases, um, and if none of the cases actually hit, just hit the default. All right, so now we can actually take this and we've got a couple more cases. So we can change this now to one, two, three, four, do one more. And five, cool. All right, and then change this to one, two, three, four, five. Great. So now we can run check index. Oops. Check index. And in this case, we're just going to have, we're going to pass in just a raw number. Um, let's pass in three. And then same thing with check index switch. We're going to check and make sure that um, we that these are actually consistent and the same. So we can go ahead and run it. And we can take a look. It's three. Hey, it's three. 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 All right. See, now take a look at this. This is a lot more messy than just writing a simple switch statement. Um, and then, of course, if you want to run more logic in each case, you can do that as well. All right, so this was how to implement a switch statement. Um, pretty basic. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. We're going to be going over some loops and how to actually start rolling with more logic. So I look forward to seeing you guys in that one.